Guys, I have great news. Praise Satan. Nick and Orlin are going to save their marriage. I mean, it says right there, we're saving our marriage. Praise Satan. The cosmos, the stars have all aligned, and we are being blessed by this amazing, amazing bit of news. I'm sorry, no. So, one, I think that was pretty close to what the thumbnail is. Pretty much, I saw this and I paused it. I'm like, that's a thumbnail. It's not that one exactly, though. Maybe, I don't remember. I just know it was perfect. I was like, okay, thumbnail. But, um, so, saving their marriage. I think it was, was it last week? So, actually, hang on. All right, so I'm sure a lot of people are probably thinking that I, like, just keep looking up Nick stuff. No, most of it is sent to me by this person. So he says, you know what time it is. It's time for the common question of the day, which comes from the username, Bing! No, <laughs> equals three there. Um, I say, <laughs> you know what time it is. Tool time. Um, But yeah, that's... And then you click on it, and that's what it does. It brings you to... We're saving our marriage. So I'm not looking this stuff up. The person sending it to me. But since Nick is an endless source of amusement. So first off, we have this. <clears throat> the picture. We have the title, We're Saving Our Marriage. Which, again, I said last week, I think it was. When Orlin was like, oh yeah, Nick is gone. You know, Nick moved to Las Vegas and... I'm like, uh, yeah, that's not happening. That's Nick's apartment. He's not going to just leave Orlin there. He's going to, he would kick Orlin out before he did that. I'm like, don't worry. They'll be back together next week. Well, here we are. Um, so anyone who continues to believe that this shit is real, that Orlin and Nick are breaking up or this or that, don't be fucking stupid. Um, <clears throat> I will say one thing though. This device that he has in his hand, this ice tray, it's no ordinary ice tray. It's actually pretty cool. You see what I did there? Um, so basically, you see the little silicone on the bottom of it? So normally you have like these plasticky ice trays, and there are times where I've tried to, you know, get the ice out, and then the fucking ice tray breaks, you know, because it... it it may be plat, you know, like a harder plastic, but like when things freeze and they just get brittle. But so you're trying to get the freaking ice out, and not only are they like sometimes falling to the floor because they'll just like Poop, and then fall to the floor, but sometimes the ice tray breaks. But this thing apparently, you have the ice tray and you just press up on the bottom right there on the green silicon part and just pops it right out. No mess, no breaking of the tray, no nothing. You just and it comes right out perfect when you need to fill a, a cup a mug this fucking big you know when you have to fill it all the way up to here with ice so i'm sure you can buy these i'm sure they're probably fairly cheap so if you're a person who uses a lot of ice you might want to rec i uh, i would say get one of these they, they look pretty good um you, uh, you can't see it but yeah, so if you ever need to fill your like that, uh, it's it's right up your alley. So him and Nick, uh, or Nick and Orlin are having dominoes, which he says he hardly ever has. Maury, let's get Maury in here. We asked Nick, do you ever? Do you hardly ever have Domino's Pizza on your channel? You said no. The lie detector determines that was a lie. It seems like every time he has pizza, it's probably once or twice a month, I think, he's has, he has pizza. And normally, it's Domino's. So. So then he talks about that. Um, oh, and then. Oh, yeah. There was a roach crawling on Orland's at and he's like it's a bug it's a trap so you can see the roach right there and he's like 
oh my god bug and orlin like looks off screen thinking it's like maybe it's like on the wall or something but it's like on his hat but um yeah that's that's pretty gross but then we've got the food itself which i don't like that's the one thing about i i'm i don't eat like the the pizza like that the you know Domino's Little Caesars Pizza Hut I prefer Pizza Hut because at least it's more consistent every time I've had Papa John's Papa John's is just bad like it's too expensive for what it actually is um I just but unfortunately where I live Papa John's is the only one that delivers but I'm just like you know what if it's between Papa John's and not having pizza I'll just not have pizza um Papa John's really, really bad. Domino's mixed bag. I prefer their pizza used to be really good. It just seems like it's changed. Uh, like I said, Pizza Hut is really the only one that's consistent. Like the stuffed crust is always on, always top tier. I wish they brought back that uh three layer, the triple layer, whatever it was, uh pizza. That shit was so fucking good. I remember going to the, the actual restaurant, we'd sit down and it was like a Friday thing, and, you know, after school, we'd finish our homework, and we'd go out to the Pizza Hut. And I remember having that, like, the three triple-layer uh, pizza. So good. It was, like, crust, and then cheese, crust, cheese. And it was just, they had, like, I think it was, like, two, three different cheeses they used or something like that. And it was so fucking good. It was so good. But they don't have it on the menu anymore. I mean, maybe if you ask, no. I think you would have to have certain type of dough made already. And they're not going to do that. But let me know if you guys remember that triple layer, three layer pizza. That's so good. But, um, yeah, so they've got pizza. It looks like cheese for, for Nick. And then meatball sausage for orlin i mean it looks it's pretty inconsistent it's like all not I, I would say all over the place but it's not all over the place you know it there's like one piece like up at the top and like that's it there's so much sauce and all that being there's so much open area come on dominoes come on you have one job you have one job um and then he's got his Fettuccine Alfredo or something. And then we have a commercial. Ad. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Bye. Yeah, his Fettuccine. His Fettuccine Alfredo. Because, you know, can't live without that. Uh, he's got some, like, cheese bread or something. I really don't know what's on the Domino's menu. Because I don't really, like I said, I don't order from Domino's. I don't order from Papa John's unless I absolutely need to. Here you got some cheese bread. Cheese bread? Oh, yeah, look at that stretch. See, that's how cheese is supposed to stretch. When you see on commercials where they can, like, pull it, like, three feet away from the fucking pizza, yeah, that's not cheese. That's glue. That's glue. You know, sometimes on commercials when things things seem too good to be true, it's usually glue. You're like, oh my god, that caramel is looking just yeah, that's glue. That the, the way that the chocolate dri no, that's glue. Glue seems to be the easiest thing to use when making commercials because you know you gotta remember you got the spotlights on it. What happens to a bowl of say ice cream or or something like that? Uh under spotlights it's going to start melting so they need something that can sit there for long periods of time without melting so they use glue so in the commercials it's just a simple little trick they just put some glue on the freaking side and the heat kind of causes you know and so when you pull you get that nice stretch i mean it looks if you look at the the commercials and then look at the kind of stretch here it looks nothing like it it's because it's not cheese it's glue um just a simple little trick though he's got one of those little uh sandwich things over there little whatever the fuck they're called i don't even know like i said i don't order from them i really don't like Domino's that much anymore they're 
fucking shit. It's always inconsistent. Every time I've gotten, it's either not cooked enough or it's completely fucking burnt. It's just so I don't, I don't order Domino's. If I'm at my friend's house, I'm like, I'll just order Pizza Hut. It's the only thing that's consistent. I haven't had any of this stuff though. And when was the last time I had Pizza Hut or Domino's or let's see. Probably about a year. Yeah, probably about a year. Like I said, out here, eat Papa John's is the only... No. Fuck Papa John's. Fuck Papa John's. Um, also notice he's got his, uh, his machine, his CPAP machine. Again, that, you know, prevents you from, you know, not dying from having your heart and lungs stop. Um, he shows that he'll be sitting in one place and just moving around. I was like, what the fuck? Just moving around and not even like this, just him moving like that or opening a box. Suddenly he's like, <sighs> it's like, dude, I can sit here and talk for minutes at a time on basically like one breath. How is it that you're sitting there opening a fucking box of pizza and you're already fucking winded? That is insane. Like, he's... I think he shows it in the beginning. Like, he'll be... Like I said, he's not really, like, moving around or a whole lot. He's, like, reaching over to fucking pull something onto, sc onto the screen. And he's like... I... I am out of breath, and it's all your fault. You people did this to me. You know, the same crap he always does. But let's get to the point of what we're seeing, of their saving their marriage. Again, praise Satan. Um, they were, they do this shit all the fucking time. Again, if you still believe that they're breaking up and all that, just, just stop. This happens once a fucking month, it seems. If, like I said, la my, the last video I made with Orlin, with him, oh yeah, celebrating, Nick's gone, and blah, blah, blah. I said, yeah, they'll be back next week. So if I can predict what's going to happen, maybe this shit isn't real. And I, I, I feel like I need to keep saying this because people watch me sometimes thinking I believe this stuff. No. Again, these are characters. Nick Akato Avocado is not what we're, what actually is there that's a character created by nicholas perry nicholas perry is the one behind the channel behind the character nick Akato avocado is just an exaggerated version of him orlin is probably i mean we call him borlin now for a reason so i don't really don't think much is being exaggerated um i mean there's the little fights they have and but he really, it's like he doesn't care, so. But Nick is the one that, <sighs> he birth creepers. Um, so he's the one over the top and exaggerating the, the, the constant back and forth, the breakups, this, and it's all fake. It's like watching wrestling without the wrestling. You know, it's all fake. Although people, the wrestling, the wrestling is real, like the, the moves they're doing. You know that shit will fucking hurt you, but the the outcomes of the uh, the the matches are predetermined, uh, the feuds between each other are predetermined, but you know, you know, <laughs> when you pick someone up and slam them down on a mat, even if that mat is made softer so it's not gonna hurt as much, it still fucking hurts. I mean, you have people climbing up. I fucking remember like Shane McMahon. Climbing up on like I think it was like the giant fist on SmackDown, and he jumped from the, the fist all the way to yeah, yeah. There's no way of faking that shit. You're gonna hurt yourself. But just all the people who were like, oh, wrestling's fake. Why do people so are movies? You think real people are able to snipe fucking people's guns out of their hands like that? No, movies are fake too. That doesn't stop people from enjoying them. Um. Also. The crust. I hate when people do this. Just leave the crust there. It, 
fucking mm. Mm. so it looks like Orland's actually eating all of his pizza apart from the crust I hate when people do that if I'm out with someone and they eat their crust I'm like just give me the fucking crust I cannot stand when people waste it because one it's food and we all know I don't like because of where I've worked and everything like that I don't like when food is wasted Two, there's nothing wrong with the crust. It's the same dough, same everything that you just ate with the rest of the pizza. It's just a little crispier. I don't get why people don't like the crust. I just... And when I... It's just like... Nani? I look at them right in the eye and say... Mo wa mo shinderu. Stupid. Um, Nick's got what three pieces. It looks like he was focusing more on crap over there. And I don't know. But he's also got Minimade right there. You can't see it, but he's got Minimade right there, which is pretty good. Nice cold glass of Minimade on a summer day. It's nice. Um But just Oh boy. Yeah. Um Yeah. Here's what's on Orleans. I just eat the damn crust. It's the same fucking dough as you just ate throughout the entire pizza. Just eat it. I can't I don't know why Okay, so for people out there, I'm sure you, there are plenty of you guys who eat pizza and don't eat the crust. Why? Please enlighten me. Why do people not eat the crust? It's the exact same dough as it was throughout the pizza. It's just a little crispier because it wasn't being protected uh, by any moisture or anything like that. So it crisps up a little bit. But if you've got dipping sauces like they clearly have, why not finish it? So for people who don't eat the crust, why do you not eat the crust? Have some respect for yourself. Um, and also, if you don't eat the crust, what do you do with it after? Do you give it to someone else? Like if you're, you know, you're with someone, you're like, hey, you want the crust? Or do you just waste it and you're like, oh, I'm going to throw it out? Because like I said, throwing out the crust is just, I, I don't. I never understood why people don't kind of like with bread, how people don't like the crust on the, it's like, what, why? It's like, it's like this very, very thin layer. You can barely taste. There's like no taste to it. It tastes, you know, it, it feels the same as the rest of the bread. So it's like, why do people not like the crust? It's just, I don't, is it the word? Is it the word? And you just associate it with the word and you're like, Oh, the word, Oh, I don't like it. Crust you know, crusty, you know, it, it, is it, I just, I, I don't understand why people don't like the crust, but so if you're one of those people, let me know why I am genuinely interested. I've never asked anyone, you know, asked them why is like, why don't you eat the crust? But seeing Orlin, I know my stepdad does that, you know, he'll do that. And when I go out with my friend, like we'll go to CC's or something like that. She'll do the same thing. And I'm like, give it. She's like, well, I'm the crust. Give it to me. I'm not going to let you fucking waste it. I just, I don't understand it. But marriage being saved. <sighs> we can all breathe a sigh, sigh of relief. Uh, you can go to bed. And you can rest assured knowing that their marriage is being saved. You can dream happy dreams knowing that the world is being put in a better place because they're saving their marriage for like the 50th fucking time. You can walk down the street confidently knowing that these two are so in love with each other that they're going to put their differences aside and work on it. So that way they can save their marriage. You can talk to people. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking stupid. Um, 
they're saving their marriage, apparently. Again, this is all an act for the newcomers who don't know me. This is an act. I know it's an act. These are characters created by these people. Nicholas Perry is the one behind Nikocado Avocado. He is an exaggerated version meant to stir up drama, meant to be over the top. Um, but Nicholas Perry, the man behind Nikocado Avocado, has done some real damage to himself in pursuit of this character. This, the body he has is very real. So everything about them is fake, except for the fact that he did in fact gain like two, 300 pounds in just like a year and a half. So again, this is all fake. They never broke up. They're not working on their marriage. The little fights they have on screen are, are, are fake. You don't need to sit here. Eh, man, I can't believe this guy. Has been eating it. No, I don't. And if you truly think that I believe it, you're an idiot. Anyways. <sighs> Saving their marriage. Yay. While wasting crust at the same time. You're killing me, Smalls. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.